Hi everyone, welcome back. In this kind of short video, I want to go over the three joint motions. Now, if I want to join to, uh, this bolt to my block here, I already have it grounded uh, by my push pin on my, my component right here. So, when I go to joint, and you know, kind of under the assembly option, I hit joint. Now, remember your component one is always the one that's being moved. Component two is the one that is staying. So, component one is going to be my bolt here. So I want to line up kind of my circle here with the actual circle on my block. So I'm going to line those up. I'm just going to click on the center of the circle there, get that black room. Perfect. Now I want to do the same thing kind of on my block here. So right about there. Perfect. Now you see that it's kind of already animating. I, this is kind of my option from last time I saved. So under position is what we've been dealing with the most time. We know that we can slide this kind of however we want, so let's just uh, put it there for example. If I go to motion now, the next tab, hit motion. We know our rigid joint, this is one where if I just click OK, it won't move, it stays in place. I'm going to go back and edit this joint, so I'm going to double click on my timeline, left click, I go back to motion. If I hit revolute, this is actually the turning motion of our bolt, so I animate it again. This is what we were doing for our boxes to get the box to open, everything like that. So kind of like a hinge, if you want to turn something, if you have a handle and want to crank it, this is what you do. So if I hit OK, I can then come grab the bolt and move it however I want, really. I can move it any early direction. There's no limit to it. Limit being these choices we'll be getting to after uh, here shortly. So I'm going to go back, double click. Motion, that's re revolute. If I go to slider, it's just like a slider. If I animate it, it's just moving up and down through that kind of joint that I made. That joint that I made was here at that starting position with the circles, the rims. So now if I grab my bolt, I can just slide through my block, through the top, bottom. Not left and right or anything, but just kind of up and down because that's how I restricted it with the joint. Uh, and then the last one, I double click, go back to edit, go to motion. This is a uh, cylindrical. This is combining the two, revolute and slider. So now if I hit cylindrical, you'll see that it is revolving that revolute motion, but also sliding at the same time. So this is kind of a combo of the two. We'll be doing this when we get to the GoPro uh, extension piece. But for now, if I hit OK, you can slide it. But at the same time, you can kind of slide and move your mouse and it'll revolute it. So, pretty cool. Now, one last thing. If I double click my motion, I'll just turn back the revolute. If I hit OK. Let's say this stops right here and you want to root, uh, rotate this a little bit. If you double click on your flag, then you can kind of move it however you want without kind of resetting or changing the joint at all. So, I, if I hit Escape, I'm starting kind of at almost at this 94 degrees, 90 degrees flags towards me. If I double click, I can move it, let's say 40, 51 degrees, enter. Now it's there. It's kind of a quick way to edit the joint, kind of moving it without really going into any crazy detail or anything like that. So those are your three motions. You have our ridges that we know and love. We have a revolute, slider, and cylindrical. These are the three motions of kind of like revolving or sliding that we'll be covering here um, shortly.